welcome to Midnight Ramble of the Show. This is your host, Cynthia Loren, and we're back for another episode of the Director's Corner. In this episode, we'll be talking about the director, M. Night Shyamalan. He's an Indian-American filmmaker, producer, screenwriter, and sometimes actor. Born in November 70 in India and raised in the suburban part of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At the age of eight, he was given a Super 8 camera, and I guess that's where everything started. At the age of 21, he produced, starred, directed his first film called Playing With Anger. It is about a teenager who was born in India, but raised in America, and he ended up going back to his birthplace, and then he experienced culture shock. Then, in 1998, he directed the comedy drama called Wide Awake, starring Joseph Cross and Rosie O'Donnell. And the film receives good receptions, especially with the family crowd. Then comes 1999, and this hit movie put the director on the map. Who can forget the suspenseful, creepy horror movie, The Sixth Sense, starring Bruce Willis, Tony Collette, and Haley Joel Osment? The Sixth Sense was such a commercial success that it got nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Original Screenplay. Then, on the following year, he directed and wrote the movie Unbreakable, starring Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Now, some of his trademarks are, usually his film has a twist or surprise ending to it. It contains some supernatural element to it. And many of his films involve people with supernatural ability to them that changes the surroundings or the psyche. And often, it is set in Philly, where he grew up. Such films are 1998's Wide Awake, 1999's The Sixth Sense, 2000's Unbreakable, 2002's Signs, and 2004's The Village. Like Hitchcock and King, he often makes cameo appearances in his own films. In The Sixth Sense, he was Dr. Hill. In Unbreakable, he was the stadium drug dealer. In Signs, he plays Ray Reddy, who killed Mel Gibson's character's wife in a car accident, and that's what caused Gibson's character, Hess, to lose faith in God. Oh, Hess was a priest before that. That's why him losing his faith was important in the film. In The Village, he was a desk guard. In The Lady in the Water, he plays Vic Vran, but he was more of a supporting character than just a cameo. In The Happening, starring Zoe Deschanel, he was Joey, the guy who kept on calling Deschanel's character on the phone. In The Last Airbender, he was one of the firebenders in the prison camp. And lastly, he was Jay the Hooter Lover in the film Split, starring James McAvoy. Also, car crashes seems to play a major role in his films. For example, in The Sixth Sense, Cole ended up telling his mother about his special ability. And in Science, Mel Gibson's character's wife died in a terrible accident, and that's what turns Mel Gibson's character, Hess, worlds upside down. He also tends to create his own sound effects. He barely uses any stock sound effects. Okay, let's talk about some fun facts about the director. Did you know that he's a passionate comic book fan? And if you have seen Unbreakable, you know what I'm talking about. He's also a graduate from NYU. Did you know he became the highest paid screenwriter in Hollywood when Disney agreed to give him five millions to write the movie Science? Three of his most favorite movies are Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1973's horror film The Exorcist, starring the young Linda Blair, and 1988's action-packed film Die Hard, starring Bruce Willis. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the director, M. Night Shyamalan, and this has been your host, Cynthia Loren, signing off at the Director's Corner. I'll see you next time.